I'm Olivia Holt. Stay tuned and find out the way to her heart. <laughs> Ding! <laughs> Ding! <laughs> Great to have you here finally. Thank you. We've interviewed you in the field so many times. Yeah. You walked in and immediately I was like, I'm so glad I didn't wear that dress today because I have this dress. You look adorable. Thank See, here's you. the thing that you've inspired me because like the way you wore it with your boots and your socks is so fun. cute. Thank now, you. How do you think of that? I'm all about like the leg warmers and boots. Like I'm all about combat boots too. I wear my combat boots with everything. And, yeah. and you're used to hanging out with the boys on set all the time. I, so. I think like the boys have totally grown on me because I like I, I don't know I don't know what it is. Like I'm totally not a girly girl anymore but I guess it's kind of cool. I can have my girly moments and then I can go play video games. We're having, we can have a little girl shot in here today. I love you're that. Let's do guys. it. <laughs> you were nominated for a race Radio Disney Music Award. Congratulations. Thank you. Your first single? It's my first single, And it's yes. for like, the nomination is for, it's like a crush song? Yeah, it's for XOXO Best Crush Song. And it's, a, it's my song's called Had Me at Hello. Yes. Super cute, super clever, and like kind of surreal because I didn't think that it, they could get to this point. Because it's been something you've loved music for a while, yeah, right? for a really, really long time. So is there anybody that you've met in your career, like a celebrity or somebody that had you at hello? Just somebody who you were just mesmerized to meet or you would like to meet? Reese Witherspoon. Really? I haven't met her, but I would like to meet her. and Because I'm not really a starstruck kind of person. Yeah. Like I don't get starstruck that easily, but she would be like the person that I would like be like, like probably tears would come out of my eyes because like You're I love her You're almost like so a much. young Reese Witherspoon in a way. I'm gonna start crying now. Thank you. This is the crying <laughs> part of the interview. This is the crying part. We're gonna get emotional here. So I know you have an episode coming up. It's a gymnastics episode, and you yeah. grew up doing gymnastics. Yes. Did you show the boys a thing or two? I did. It was super fun. We had Gabby Douglas, the two-time gold medalist from the Olympics oh on our gosh. side, which is incredible and kind of intimidating. I was gonna me say, a would bit. that be intimidating? Yeah, yeah. and because I haven't done gymnastics in such a yeah. long time, and when they brought in all the equipment. In and I had to actually get up there and do a few things. I was like, Gabby, can you look away just so I can practice <laughs> this first and make it perfect? <laughs> but no, it was so much fun. So we wanted to play a couple games with you. Yeah. First of all, it's something we do with people called What's in Your Purse. Okay. And I know you brought your purse. She did not, I'm just telling you, she did not clear anything out of her bag before, before we started <laughs> rolling. So just to sort of like settle the score and sort of make it even, I, I'm gonna show you what's in my purse, okay. which my purse okay. is notoriously just, <laughs> Disgusting, and I've always thought if anybody could see in my purse, I would lose all my friends. Nobody would ever ask me out. But okay, so let's go for it. Okay. First of all. Okay, no, we're gonna stop right there because I am obsessed with ketchup I and I am so glad that you just took that out of your purse. This is amazing. I have, That's for you, because no, I know you're obsessed with ketchup. Oh my gosh. Okay, life just kind of is complete right here. I'm gonna, I'm gonna put this in my purse. I do have bigger purses like yours that I What's would. What's sort of like the weirdest thing you put ketchup on? Um, I read chicken. Yes, chicken all the way. Like I can't eat chicken without ketchup. All right, let's do it. Changes of clothing. Okay, I love that. Okay. I have um, my passport, which is probably just in case not you decide idea. to leave town. Just in case I decide to go but to Mexico look how or cute something. Your little I know, passport I, cases. Yeah. It, all right, I'm gonna do one. This is embarrassing. A young Hollywood check. I won't show you how much it's for. I don't do this out of the goodness of my heart, <laughs> although I would do it for free. I have uh, some cotton candy lip smacker. See how adorable her bag is? <laughs> iPad mini. Okay, that's perfect. I wish I could take an iPad mini out of this little thing. Okay, this is my favorite one. It turns into a mirror. Oh my yeah. gosh, Hello it's Kitty. Hello Are Kitty. you obsessed with Hello Kitty? I am like a diehard Hello Kitty fan. Okay, now ketchup or Hello Kitty, you have to pick. I can't choose. They're probably in the same category. They are like They're Hello level. Kitty and ketchup are right here. Everything else is like here. Okay, what else have you got? I'm, no one really cares what's in my bag. They want to see what's in your bag. Okay, I have my phone. My shades. I have a penny <laughs> that is not in my wallet. I have some hoop earrings just in case. You know, you never know. You can go know. out at night. You never know when Change you're going to need your hoop earrings. <laughs> and then I have some lip gloss. Some lovely lip gloss just in case. There's nothing embarrassing in there. It's not right. I'm not going to show you all the lint in the bottom of my bag. I feel like if I had a bigger bag, like I would be carrying a change of clothes <laughs> and probably like a change of shoes. Okay, well, speaking of clothes, the last time we saw you, we played a game called Kickin' It or Kick 'em to the Curb. Yeah. So we gave you a set of scenarios. But this time we're going to, because it's just you and I hanging out, no boys, fashion trends, whether or not you're kicking it and into it or kicking it to the curb. Okay. And if I'm wearing any of it, feel free to diss it. I don't <laughs> care, I won't get embarrassed, okay? Number one, neon. I think I would be down to 
have some neon. I mean, like, honestly, like, that's like kind of the trend this summer, too. Yeah, okay, wedge sneakers. I, I don't know, I feel like, okay, I'm gonna kick it to the curb. Kicking it to the curb, okay, overalls. That's such a big trend this season. For me, I'm gonna have to kick it to the curb. Okay, numbered t-shirts. <laughs> You can kick it to the curb. Feel free. I would take no, offense. This I is would, from last season. No, I would kick it. I would kick it. Okay, nail art. <laughs> kick it. What about high-waisted shorts? You know, the high-waisted ones with the crop top? Yes. Do you like that look? I do. Yeah, I would kick it. Well, thank you for coming in. Great to see you. We're going to have some french fries. Bring in the chicken. Yeah. We're about to Whatever else you want to bring in, we're going to throw some ketchup Anything on it. Anything with our ketchup.